What's going on everybody? Georgia Bulldog Will here. And um, as you can see in the background, that is the Vanderbilt Georgia game going on right now at Stegman Coliseum. Georgia's down by one. Literally like a minute and a half ago or two minutes ago, Georgia was down 77 to 65. 11 to nothing run in the last two and a half minutes. How about that? Come on, can Georgia come back? Here's Moncrief defending him. That's a travel on Vanderbilt. It's Georgia basketball with 151 left. They're still down by one. Have not led in the game since it's eight to five. Terry Roberts driving in. Oh, it's taken away. No, no, Juice Holt has it. Holt gives it back to Terry. Terry on the right wing. Terry with Abdul Rahim way over to the left. Terry loses the handle. Terry has to put it up. Put the ball up. Terry shoots it and an air ball. 120 left. Vanderbilt 77, Georgia 76. Oh, that's Moncrief. Or is that McBride? I, I still don't know. I get I get Moncrief and McBride mixed up. I don't know why Juice is... Oh. All right, here we go. 120, Vanderbilt holding a one-point lead over Georgia. Lawrence with Terry guarding him. Georgia has not lost a game at Stegman Coliseum this year. Terry almost took it away, but then he re commits a reach and foul. That's what you did not want to commit. That's a two-shot foul because they are in the double bonus. If they make both free throws, they will be up by uh, three. All right. Still one point game. Lawrence at the line for Vanderbilt. Makes the first free throw. Braylon Bridges exiting the game. Or no, I'm sorry. That was um, Moncrief. That's Moncrief. McBride's 13. Tyron Lawrence to make it a three point game. And he does. Vanderbilt up by three with 104 left in the game. Terry's going to inbound it, gives it to Juice Hole, who gives it back to Terry. Terry has one minute left in the game. Vanderbilt 79, Georgia 76. Here's Cario. Oh, no, Braylon Bridges is in the game. Cario driving in. Cario is fouled and almost went in. If he would have made that, that would have been huge. But he is fouled, so he'll get two free throw shots and make it a one-point game. So... So Georgia needs to make these two shots and then just lock down on the other end on defense, but I'm pretty sure they're going to end up fouling Vanderbilt this late in the game. Well, actually, no, you, you don't want to foul. If you're down by one, down by two now with that foul shot that they just made, um, Cario gets, Cario makes it 79-77. Moncrief, Holtz, Roberts. And he missed the second. It's a two-point game. All right, here we go. Two-point game. Vanderbilt 79, Georgia 77. A lot of fans at the stake today. Vanderbilt going to milk the clock. Keep swinging the ball out. They're going to try and get us to foul them. They drive in. They put it up. Off the roll. Oh, no, they call the foul. Moncrief gets called for the foul, and he's in disbelief. And he's fouled out now. That's his fifth foul. He's fouled out of the game. <sighs> and somebody just called a timeout. I believe it was Georgia. Or, let's see. Here's Moncrief. Let's see. Where is he? 
Oh, it came down on the, his right arm came down on the uh, shooter's right arm. So I understand, I understand. Okay. Georgia fans not happy with that. I'm not too happy. Moncrief, I don't know, what did he get? Eight points today? It set it up there. I think he got about eight points. Ooh, Texas A&M leading Kentucky to halftime. 31-29, all right. Georgia needs them to miss one free throw. Two foul shots for Manhan. For Manhan. First one, good. 80 to 77, Vanderbilt. No shot clock for Georgia. He needs to miss this. Oh, he almost did. All right. Abdul Rahim to inbound. Terry's got it. Terry driving down the court. Terry. Going to the basket, Terry. Reverse layup is good. Now Georgia needs to, I think Georgia, will, oh no, they'll call a timeout. Mike White calls timeout, 18.4 seconds left. 81-79 Vanderbilt. Our unbeaten streak at home this season is on the line here. We haven't lost to any team at home this year. And um, Vanderbilt could be the first team to beat us at home this year. Not even Auburn beat us at home this season. We were able to beat Auburn. We beat them like we beat them by twelve. So, eighteen point four seconds left. Um, depending on what Vanderbilt does, I think Vanderbilt might want to milk the clock, but I don't know. We'll see what they go with. Vanderbilt has the ball. They have two timeouts. Georgia has one. Both teams are in the are are in bonus plus. The possession arrow is facing is going towards Georgia. So if there's a jump ball, that would mean it's Georgia basketball. So that would be good. But uh, I don't think we're gonna see that happen. But uh, with 18.4 seconds left, anything can happen here. This game could go to overtime. Eighteen point four seconds left. Vanderbilt eighty one. Georgia seventy nine. Georgia's thirteen and five on the season. They are three and two against the SEC. They beat they beat Auburn. They beat Ole Miss and Mississippi State. Auburn was at home. Ole Miss was on the road. Mississippi State was at home. We lost to Kentucky and Florida. So. We need a we need a win, but Vanderbilt also needs a win. This is a must win. This was a coming into this. This is a must win game for Georgia after the loss to Kentucky. But I mean, nobody was expecting Georgia to beat Kentucky, but I had belief that we could win. I was hoping we would win that game. Georgia, oh, they got it away, and now they finally foul them in the back court, so they will get two shots. Yeah. Mardrez McBride commits the foul. And, uh... Alright, if he makes one, he gets two free throw shots. We need him to miss one. If he misses both, that's huge. Because a two can tie the game, and a three will give us the lead. Two for two today on free throws. Two, three, three for three today on free throws. Vanderbilt back up by three. 13.1 seconds left in the game. And Juice Holt exits the game. Braylon Bridges takes his place. That's a guy you need in the game. 13.1 seconds left. This free throw could... Really impact the game here. This can really impact the game here. If he misses this, this is a big opportunity for Georgia. He's three for three today on free throws. Now he's four for four. 83-79. Georgia needs a quick score here. Terry going down the court. Terry. Abdul Rahim. Free. Oh, he's fouled. If he would have made that and got fouled, and made the free throw, and make a free throw, it'd be a tied ball game. But instead, okay, you need to make all three, man. All three. Got the first one, 
This could make it a one-point game. We foul them. They make two free throws, but it'll be a three-point game. So that's great. Come on, make this. Okay, he got he got the second one, 83-81. You need to make this. Juice comes back in the game for Braylon Bridges. You have to make this, man. Please make the free throw. We cannot rely on Vanderbilt to miss free throws because they're clutch today on free throws. Come on. Come on, Jabri. Make the free throw. Make the free throw, man. Come on. Please. Please make the free throw. Please. He got it. 83-82. 21 points today. A career high. Good for you, Jabri. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a violation. That's a... Oh. I was about to say, they took too much time inbounding it. Well, Vanderbilt took a timeout to avoid that violation, so lucky for them. If they didn't call that timeout, then it would have been a violation, too much time trying to inbound the ball, and then it would have been Georgia basketball with 5.7 seconds remaining, but instead they called the timeout like they should. So Georgia needs to foul here. Maybe they'll miss both um, shots. 83-82 Vanderbilt. I, mean, I remember they jumped up to a 12-point lead in the second half, but Georgia's fought their way back and kept it a good game. All right. This would be after losing to Alabama at home, which, I mean, that was probably expected because Alabama's... <laughs> the number four team in the country. They're the best team in the SEC right now. I mean, obviously that was expected. And it's probably going to be expected when we head over to Tuscaloosa this season. That's right. We're heading over to Tuscaloosa. Last year it was in Athens. Here we go. Anselm guarding. And Cario fouls him. 4.8 seconds left. If they do make both free throws, Georgia could still send the game to overtime with a three. And it's Thomas again. This guy's clutch with free throws. But again, we could still tie the game and send it to overtime with a three. And who's calling the timeout? Who, taught, who called the timeout? Oh. Oh, they're checking the time to see how much time there should be on the clock because there's 4.8 seconds left. Maybe there isn't supposed to be 4.8 seconds left. Um, yeah, they're reviewing this, so this will take probably like uh, probably a minute or two. It shouldn't take too long. This is simple. Let's see. When did they foul him at? 5.6. Oh, there should be 5.4. 5-2, five, 5-3, five, something like that, whenever the arm goes up. Hold on, play it again. No, no, play it there. There you go. When does the arm go up? Arm goes up at 5.2. 5.2. 5.2. It should be 5.2 seconds left. Oh, never mind. More like 5.4 seconds left. No, it's supposed to be at the time that he's fouled, not at the time the official's arm goes up. I thought there'd be 5.2 and said there's 5.4. Hmm. That's uh that's more um helpful for Georgia, I'd say. McBride, Oquendo, Roberts, and uh I cannot see the rest. I know Anselm is in. Oh Holt. Juice Holt's in the game. It's Trey Thomas. He made he made both free throws the last time. Made this one. 84-82 Commodores. If he makes this one, Georgia needs a three to tie. He makes it. Swish. All right, here we go. Georgia inbounds it. Terry Roberts going down the court. Terry. Never. Oh, a good, that's smart there by Mike White. Call a timeout once you get past half court. Okay, so smart, smart call there by Mike White. I, I should have been expecting that before, but uh, yeah, 5.4 se I mean, 3.9 seconds left on the clock. 
Georgia down by three. They need a three-pointer to send the game to overtime. Three point nine seconds left. Georgia has no timeouts. Vanderbilt has one. And three point nine seconds left. Possession arrow is still pointing to Georgia. Hopefully our unbeaten streak does not be taken away by Vanderbilt. We lost to Vanderbilt last year on the road. I remember that. You know, that was after we beat Alabama back at the SEG. We lose to Vanderbilt on the road. All right, here we go. 3.9. Georgia is out of timeouts. They need to put up a three and make it to send the game to overtime. There's Terry going to inbound it. Braylon Bridges is in the game. Terry. Abdul Rahim has it. Abdul Rahim puts it up. No good. And Vanderbilt wins. And Georgia's unbeaten streak has come to an end. The final score from Stegman Coliseum. The Vanderbilt Commodores, 85. The Georgia Bulldogs, 82. Georgia drops to 13-6 and six on the season. And they are now 3-3 three and three against the conference. Their next game is against... Uh, who's their next game against? Um, I'll figure it out. I should know this, but uh, yeah. So yeah, Abdul Rahim couldn't make the shot at the end. Vanderbilt holds on and wins. Great game by the Commodores as they beat Georgia at the Coliseum, ending our unbeaten streak at home this season. And... Uh, now, now we got to win our next uh, game. We got to win our next game. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys later. Go dogs.